the villages that you've mentioned in Kiambu County, we have 58 informal settlements that are going to be covered. Currently, we only have about, uh, about five. But in the second phase, there are going to be 58. So most of the youth, the ones who are feeling left out, will be taken care of. The ones who are working currently will also continue. And that's why we extended the phase one, so that uh, we don't send them home to await for the phase two. Phase two, we're also going to have projects that are going to have a, a long-term impact. <clears throat> As opposed to currently where we're cutting grass and then after some time, the grass will grow again. So we're going to have the youth engaged in ex specialist jobs, like making bricks, putting up uh, toilet facilities in informal settlement areas where there are no toilets, painting schools, health centers. We are going to work very closely with the county government. We are going to have an MOU with the county government. It's going to be very clear what the national government is going to do and what the county government is going to do. Nangu ni Njoroge Wanja na kiongozi wa vijana hapa county ya Kiambu. Tumefurahishwa sana na huu mradi wa kazi mtaani. Hii kazi mtaani imeweza kusaidia vijana kwa njia mingi. Tunapata ya kwamba vijana ambao walikuwa na dadarana na ambao walikuwa idol hapa katika mji wa Dhika wameweza kujihusisha katika hii kazi ya kazi mtaani. Hivyo basi e, kesi za insecurity katika mji wa Dhika zimepungua kwa e, kwa highest level. Naitwa Lea Watetu, nimezaliwa mtaa wa Kiandutu. Jambo la kwanza ni kusema tangu hii kazi ikuje wakati janga la corona lilikuja hatukuwa kazi. Tuko tunatafuta job tunakosa. So huko ndani kijiji tulikuwa tumekaa hivyo. Watu wanatembea wanakosa kazi. But wakati kazi mtaani ilikuja sisi wote tukapata kazi so kazi hii afta kukuja akisi tuko poa tumeshiba tuko sawa na watoto wetu na familia zetu 